Our bodies need a little boost, which is why we often turn to calcium to maintain strong and healthy bones. But is there such a thing as too much calcium? Some researchers say yes. Let's break it down. Nerves, muscles, veins, and arteries all depend on calcium to function. If we don't get enough calcium in our diets, our bodies will simply take from our bones. Low calcium will eventually turn our bones weak and easily broken. So it's important we get enough. It's recommended that most adults should aim for a thousand milligrams per day in calcium, and those over the age of 50 should get about 1,200. This goes hand in hand with vitamin D, about 600 to 800 units per day. But here's the kicker: taking calcium supplements won't benefit your bones any more than the calcium that's already in your diet. Some studies have shown that calcium supplements could increase the risk of stroke or heart attack in those patients who already have high risk. Many studies also fail to show the relationship between added calcium intake and bone density and fracture risk. So here's how to balance it out: Don't overdo it. There is no benefit to taking extra calcium supplements than the recommended daily amount you already get in your diet, and too much could be harmful. Got milk? Drink it for your vitamin D and other dairy products. And don't forget that some greens, brown rice, and orange juice, and many other foods in your diet are also a good source of calcium. Spend some time outdoors. The sunshine is good for you. And if you live in a colder climate, you may need a little vitamin D boost from October through March, when the sun is a lot weaker. Get your heart rate up. Exercise doesn't just build muscle; it also helps strengthen bones. 30 minutes of cardio each day, plus two or three days of muscle strengthening exercise, will do the trick. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website acsh.org, and don't forget, as always, to sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox.